how to find the perfect trading setup fast. So, you know, this is the big, big thing because so many people are looking, you know, on different trading strategies, different trading approaches. Stop right there. It's quality over quantity. And this is my one of the trades I showed you before. This is a simple Euro USD short trade where I invested 5000 Euro. It was 200 leverage trade, too high for newbie traders. So if you're a newbie, you should only you know, have leverage to 1 to 50 maximum. So my 5000 Euro trade is making me 62,000, over 62,000 Euro profits in one month from one single trade. So in this video, I really want to talk about how to find perfect trading setups because um, I'm, I'll, I'm looking at this trade, okay, every single day from, from, from Monday to Friday and I still see this trade going my way every single day, okay? So whenever I see the trading setup going my way, I know that I should keep that trade open because as you know, we trade every single day and for example, okay, these are the results from today in my signals group. One, two, three, four, five six winning trades in a row so far for today this was uh, this trade was from yesterday and uh, so uh, and here we go okay so that's why our trading signals group is extremely successful because we use these setup checklists and setup confirmations in place in order to produce great great signals and so here we go this is just one of the examples okay one trade uh, 62,000 or you know markets volatile over 62,000 euro profit so anyway so make sure you watch this video until the end so step number one how to find perfect training setups okay so baby steps so these are the th this is the three step process as baby steps okay of how we're gonna go about it how we're gonna pr uh, approach it, how we're gonna see these training setups again it doesn't matter what you trade forex cryptocurrencies stocks commodities silver and gold uh, you know it uh, or doesn't matter what you trade as long as there is volatility and uh, you know there is volatility and liquidity in a market you should be able to you know to find these trading opportunities and make profits every single day like we do in my trading group so baby so step, so step number one is so first we identify the trend where uh, how many trends there are there is either a bullish or bearish trend or neutral okay which we should have always avoid so the baby step is this to make money in the market doesn't matter what you trade we need to identify is the trend bullish or bearish some newbie traders are getting mixed up some newbie traders look at the wrong time frames and by looking at wrong time frames uh, you know they presume and they think that it's an either bullish or bearish trend but in fact when you look at a different you know at the wrong time frame uh, you are not being you will not be able to find the trend by looking at the wrong time frame by wrong wrong time frame i mean if you look at smaller time frames anything you know from one minute to 30 minutes you will not be able to find the trend to find the trend is it bullish or bearish trend you need to take a look at the larger time frames which are namely four hours and above so let's step number one okay to find a time frame is it an uptrend or downtrend <laughs> or sideways okay whenever we see something like this sideways okay that it's not either it's not uh, uptrend or downtrend we never want to trade these sideways positions because those are the most riskier ones and those are the ones where people lose their money by looking at wrong time frame thinking it's bullish or bearish placing trade but in fact by when they place the trade by looking at the wrong time frame, they're actually gambling, okay? So they lose their money. So that's step number one, identify the uh, trend, okay? In this case, this is an uptrend in this example. And then step number two, buy when the price hits the bottom of the trend line, okay? So, you know, to, to, to see the uh, bullish or bearish trend, we need to, take a, we need to create the, the trend lines, which I'm going to show you now in a second. Now, here you can see 16 different trend line uh, setups, okay? 16 different setups. Uh, this is the this is for buy trades. These are for sell trades again for buy trades and for sell trades Now you can either choose your trading style if you're a newbie trader If you are a new trader a newbie trader into the market and still learning how to be profitable from on pro for day to day basis I would advise you to stick on these trend line setups. Okay, so either bullish pennant uh, bullish triangle bullish wedge or the or the vice versa for the sell positions okay bearish pennant bearish uh, triangle and bearish wedge that's for the buy trades and for the sell trades bearish pennant bearish triangle and bearish wedge for the sell trades so these are for the buy trades 
Now, how to actually, so this is how we're gonna find these, you know, on a chart. So we're gonna show you again, again now in a second. But now, so how to trade these? How to trade these will be as follows. So this is a rising wedge pattern. What is rising wedge? Rising wedge is simply a bullish triangle, okay? So this is a rising wedge or bullish wedge uh, where we are going to look simply for the breakout. So it's, it's structured like this, okay? So please pay attention just to this image right here. This is a you know, detailed image. So the wedge pattern can be used to either uh, uh, for either continuation or reversal pattern, depending on where it is found on a price chart. So whenever we can find this triangle on a chart, okay, those are our trading opportunities every single time. We don't care where the price goes, above or below. Whenever it goes outside that triangle or triangular pattern, we're gonna place our trade, okay? And as you can see, the Euro USD example, okay, it happened many, many times. So it broke this one on a downside. I kept my trade open. It broke this one on a downside. I kept my trade open. You know, that's why I'm making, look at this, 63 and a half thousand euro profits, okay, around that. Just by following these structures. So please pay attention to the next couple of minutes and I'm gonna teach you this, how you're gonna find these on any asset that you trade. So, whenever we find, uh, so whenever we find any of the triangular setups, we follow the structure. So bullish market structure. Markets, a market is making higher highs and higher lows. So it's uh, going, making higher highs, as you can see, higher high, higher high, higher high. So it's going up. At the same time, it's also making higher lows. So the low is here, the next low is again higher low, and next low is again higher low. For that, we need to create this triangle structure. So in this example, market broke down uh, outside, the, outside the triangle on a downside. It could be the same if it broke out on an upside. But what we're looking at is, this is a, a, sell, a sell opportunity. So breakout and structure break. Once the candlestick body closed below the wedge, this is the wedge, you know, this one closed below the wedge, the previous, uh, the wedge and the previous lower high. So this was the previous lower high. The market structure is now bearish and the reversal is confirmed. So when I look, look at this, so this candlestick closed below this wedge. Yes, yes. How the candlesticks, okay, well, so the green candlesticks open in here and close in here. The bearish candlesticks or red candlesticks close here, oh, sorry, open here and close here. So in this case, this candlestick closed outside this wedge on a downside, and that's our confirmation. Now let's take a look at some real life examples right here, like my Euro USD, beautiful, beautiful trade, okay? So uh, again, so uh, let's just zoom out, okay? And you're gonna see exactly. So let's continue. So whenever I, whenever I, whenever I opened, it, uh, opened my sell trade for the Euro USD. I was, you know, I was, you know, keeping up to the trade. I was looking at the charts every single day, and every single day I had to create these patterns. So after I made the sale trade on a ninth, okay, this is sale trade, okay, on ninth, I had to make sure that the trend keeps going down, and uh, and how I can do that by creating these patterns. So the the so it broke down here, so the sale trade was made, okay. Then the next day. I see that it, you know, it started to retrace and started to go up. You know, when that happened, there was my question, okay, okay, should I exit that trade or not? To do that, I, cre you know, I create triangular pattern in this extremely easy manner, okay? So the, uh, so the trend, you know, so whenever the trade retraced, that's our support, when we place line, and we create a triangle. So we are trying to fit the triangle somewhere in, somewhere on a chart. And when you do that, we wait for the price to break out. If it breaks out above here, if I see new candlestick closing above this area, it means I should get the hell out of the trade and take my money and walk away, Andrew. But instead the price broke uh, this wedge on a downside, like in our example right here. Exactly, okay? But a little bit different because as you can see here, the, you know, the pattern was kind of, a, you know, on a downside and this was our support, okay, on a, on a kind of a, uh, you know, horizontal line, 
so it broke this one. But it doesn't matter how this, see? It doesn't matter how this triangle is structured as long as we can identify the triangle and as long as we can see the price in within that triangle. And then what we do is we wait whenever the price breaks out of that triangle. The beautiful thing, you can just set free alert on a tradingview.com with free charts. And whenever the price breaks out of that uh, triangle, you're gonna see alert on your mobile phone. So you can probably play, you know, base your trading decisions on that. Uh, anyway, so, and it happened again and again and again. So again, and another triangle right here, and another breakout and a downside. And uh, let's continue on here. Okay, then there was a retracement right here. Yes, there was a retracement and the price went up. However, there is, you know, there was, there's a war between Russia and Ukraine and the euro, you know, your currency is being bashed and smashed like crazy. So the euro is going, has, you know, has, has, you know, he's experiencing a huge, huge bearish momentum. Uh, and for that, of course, uh, I, you know, you need to, you need to keep up with the fundamental news. Again, I have, you know, I have been, uh, I have been teaching you that as well. Now let's, uh, let's, let's look what's going to happen now and what we can do now from this. So we can see that this is our lowest point for Euro USD since long time. Okay, so you don't need to. So this is so great. Okay, if you see that the price is hitting a higher highs and lower lower lows for long you know since long time, those are great great key levels. So this so this is our, so this is our low, lowest point. So that's where we put the horizontal line. Let's create a triangle, shall we? So let's create a triangle. So let's place triangle from here to here. Boom, easy, right? And so even we can even trade this triangle. And so why do you think the last uh, one hour candlestick became red? Because this, you know, it's approaching this triangular, uh, you know, resistance zone. So it needs to test that resistance before breakout. It's testing it right now. So whenever it's going to break out right here, that's those are great, great scalping buy trades. So uh, you're scalping buy trade for your scalping buy trades. You take your profit a little bit below previous swing high. That will be around the, this uh, this area right here. But as you can see, this is where the price started to pump. So I would take my profits in here easily. Or if that doesn't happen, you know, if opposite scenario happens, great. Let the price, you know, squeeze in, squeeze into this triangle and then boop. If you're gonna see new one hour candles below here, make sell trade. And for that sell trade, we need to look at a larger time frame to see where was the previous swing low at that area. For that, we need to take a look at the daily time frame because the, such low euro against USD we haven't seen for long, long time. I mean, wow, look at this. So the last time euro was this low was in 20, 2002. <laughs> And it all can be seen on charts. Use that information to make profits. If you want to become successful online trader from home, you're welcome to go below this video and you're going to see this uh, access link to join our academy. Because whenever you join academy, you will get free lifetime access to copy and follow our signals every single day from my signals group. Here we go. And our success ratio lately has been, you know, phenomenal, okay? Uh, yeah, so learn, earn money while you learn. If that's something you're interested in, well, you're welcome. And so, yeah, I hope this video, uh, it, you know, I hope in this video you learned something new. Thank you for subscribing. I love you all. Thank you for liking this video if you enjoyed it. And if you need any help, you're always welcome to email me, guys. I answer my emails once a day, but every single day. I love you all. God bless. And bye bye. And I'm just like I'm just looking at the Bitcoin right now. So doesn't this look so similar to what we learned in this video? Okay, look at this. Okay, so uh, so look at this. So what do you think is gonna happen if you're gonna see a new candle below this line? What do you think is gonna happen? Boom. And what do you think is gonna happen when we wait and we see a new candle above this line? Boom. So now we are waiting for this Bitcoin to break out of this wedge. And this is exactly what we're doing. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I love you all. God bless and bye-bye.